Hello everyone and welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So what we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at remote working tools. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are remote workers. I myself am a remote worker and across my day I'm using different resources uh, from communication tools to project management tools to help me coordinate those efforts. Now, for those who don't know, remote work is essentially working away from your colleagues or an office or a HQ, but from home and like cafes, wherever you like. This new type of working is being adopted by a lot of companies. But in today's video, we're gonna go over some of those really strong applications that you guys can be using as a remote team or as a remote individual to get things done. Now let's jump into a few of these. They're gonna be on Mac, Windows, iPhone, and Android 2, and they're gonna be as cross-platform as possible. And these are some of the applications that I've been enjoying myself over the last two or three years that I've been remote work. So to start, communication tools are obviously at the top of the list. Now at the moment, I'm currently using one obvious one, which many people already know, which is called Slack. Now there are other opportunities in terms of communication. Now I know a lot of companies only use Skype and also the Skype IM, which is an instant messenger feature. But you can also use another service called Twist, which is very similar to Slack, but includes something called Thread. So it's a little less daunting than Slack because sometimes Slack can be really overwhelming. Now moving down to time tracking tools you've got a lot of options here when you're starting out your adventures on being able to coordinate your employees or you want to coordinate your time in terms of your clientele so ours is one that I use as a go-to so what I'll do is every week or one day of the week I audit my hours so I basically pick a day and actually monitor the amount of time I spend on certain items now there are other resources like toggle and also team week for helping to organize hours and coordinate calendars as well and I recommend recommend checking all of these out because they are great tools. Now I'm going to include a video soon about the top 10 time tracking tools apps so that will give you a better scope of some of the resources out there. Now moving on to content feeds. Now I absorb a lot of content in my day mainly in the mornings and afternoons. Now I've mentioned it before but I've used Feedly as well as a great source because what you can do with there is you can basically just organize what is actually coming in. Another application I use in the morning is Overcast is where I choose into a podcast that I might like that will cover a certain topic that I'm focusing on as a theme at the moment. Now moving down to the big one is being focused and attention span because obviously when you're a remote worker it can get distracting like making coffees anytime you want or being able to go and hoover whenever you like. Your distractions are always around you. Now focus list is one of those applications that allows you to set a timer per task which will give you a Pomodoro timer so that's 25 minutes on and five minutes off and you can basically set as many Pomodoros as you like per task and it will help you complete them. Now a very similar application is called Forest which is really cool. You can build a tree, all you do is you set a timer. Once you've built that tree you have to go through the full time. If you exit the app or you touch your phone during that period of time it will kill the tree which is quite a cool way of keeping focus. Now moving on to the bulk of things is project management. Now a lot of you guys out there use a lot of project management tools and I'm going to recommend a few. Now Newton is one of the applications that I use across my day. Now I really enjoy Newton because it has some features for remote workers like send later or even like undo send which is pretty helpful when it comes to talking with a client and you've made a spelling mistake or even wanting to schedule an email. Now Trello is another tool that I found very helpful and other services like Basecamp and Asana are great project management tools like all three of those Trello, Basecamp and Asana are really easy to use and really easy to get hold of. If you're looking for more like a deeper one then Asana's big and Basecamp is great as well. And also I have to give a head nod to Knotsby as well, which have a really strong resource in their package as well. So in terms of task management, if you want something really simple, uh, you've also got Todoist, which I really enjoy using across my day. It's got a great sharing feature. So you guys have the ability to create projects with teams. And also Meister Task is another one that I found really relevant in the last couple of months to use within Teams because it's got a strong notification activity log as well. When it comes to doing occasional things with content like being able to scan in documents is pretty handy and even if you're making sketches scanbot is one of the resources that I found to be incredible for this and it works really really smoothly now when it comes to absorbing content as well and you don't necessarily want to get distracted so let's say you're reading or doing a piece of work and you see an email that has a great article that you want to read straight away instead of reading it now you might want to clip it for later so there's instapaper and pocket as great options that I've discovered for that now moving on to health obviously 
obviously when you're going throughout your day it's important to focus on your health mindfulness is a great app for taking a five or ten minutes 20 minutes of meditation life sum is a great application for being able to track the food you're using but all of these resources are center around being able to keep yourself healthy as you work from home or in a cafe another android focus meditation app is called tide very helpful for setting calm timers and having white noise and great music now a bonus feature for all remote workers if you're trying to communicate a really nice image and you want to just quickly send something across canva i found as a great recommendation for doing that now all of these resources are mostly cross-platform so unless you're using a blackberry it should be available to download for you all go away and download them let me know what you think let me know in the comments whether you're using something specific for your remote work as i'd love to hear what your recommendations are now i'm sure there are tons more out there and i'm exploring new ones every week so it's something that i'm continually evolving in terms of my setup anyway guys thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you found this helpful and follow along with a few more of my videos thanks again make sure to have a great week keep productive and i'll see you guys very very soon cheers